staying up too late? Guys, are you staying up until two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning? Are you staying up too late? Guys, I'm telling you right now, if every night you are going to bed at at least three o'clock in the morning, this is the reason why you're not succeeding, all right? There's no doubt in my mind. Now, I also wanna make sure I be clear on this. I know there's some people who suffer with insomnia. Insomnia is a serious thing, all right? My words to you guys is, is I hope that you really research, do your due diligence, and even comment below if you guys want me to give some tips on how you can really overcome that insomnia because I've dealt with it before. Um, and I'll be glad to do a video on that. Um, but either way it goes, guys, stand up late, beating off, watching porn, stand up late watching porn, stand up late watching shows on Netflix and movies, stand up late playing the game, you on the sticks. Guys, this is why. You're not succeeding. I'm telling you. The reasons why, man, is because when we stay up late, we literally, for one, throw off our circadian rhythms. We are not aligned with the circadian rhythms. All right? When the sun rises, the sun sets. So if we're staying up all night, we're stopping ourselves from getting that rest that we need. The real rest. Listen, guys, if you don't know about this, our bodies literally heal. The healing hours and the healing times is literally from like 10 p.m. to about 12, like 10, 10 to 12 or 10 to 2, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can look that up if, if I'm wrong on that, because I might be. But if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the body is actually in healing mode and the, and the healing hours is around about 10 p.m. to about 2 or 10 to 12. Man, a lot of people don't even be asleep around that time, man. A lot of, keep it real, like when the last time you was knocked out? at 10 p.m., you know? Some people do, some people don't, but I'm telling you, if you're not getting that sleep and if you're staying up super late, it's definitely gonna be the reason why you're not succeeding, guys. And Kings, we gotta do something about this. So this is a big one for me too, guys. I'm telling y'all, I do these videos, not claiming to be better than y'all and none of that. I'm, I'm here because I go through this type of stuff and you know it blesses me to be able to get on here, encourage my fellow men and fellow Kings as I'm helping myself and then boom, other guys can be blessed and their lives could change as well. I'm trying to let my light shine. Y'all know how I go. Got a glow out here, man. Let your light so shine before men so that they may glorify your father in heaven, man. Let, let them see your good works. You know what I'm saying? God, People give God the glory for things like that. So let's keep doing it. But guys, I'm telling you right now, if, if you're staying up late you're preventing yourself from getting the type of rest and recovery and healing that you deserve. Let me tell you another thing too. The enemy, the enemy wants us to stay up late. The enemy wants us to stay up late. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why he wants us to stay up late. He wants us to stay up late because he knows if we don't have that energy, if we don't have that rest, we will not perform the way we could perform if we did have rest. Keep it real guys, when you don't get enough sleep, how do you feel the next day? I mean, do you feel sociable at all? Do you feel comfortable around other people like that? Do you feel irritated? Do you feel upset? Guys, when we don't get enough sleep, it causes all types of issues with our hormones. It knocks our hormones off track. The, the, uh, the hormone ghrelin, that pretty much lets us know when we're full and satiated, that don't even be working right. We tend to overeat when we don't get enough sleep. We tend to eat more carbs and refined sugars when we don't sleep. Guys, all of this is a setup for disaster kings. This is why we gotta step away from staying up too late. Now back in the day, you know, when you were a kid, all you wanna do is stay up late, why? Because you're so used to going to bed early and having to get up early. School, you know, kids, we liked it, but we didn't like it, you know? And guys, we're grown men now. We're kings now. We're not kids no more. So it's time that we value sleep and we value getting enough sleep and going to sleep at a decent time. So we, we could be charged up, ready to go, fired up, to take on that next day, to grind harder than we did the last time, to, to make things happen that we didn't make happen the night before, to actually perform and be better than we were before, all right? That's the biggest thing, guys. Sleep is very important for kings. 
So we need to make sure that we're not only that we're going to sleep at a decent time, but that we're getting decent sleep, you know? There's factors and there's things that we could do that could help us with that. If you guys want a video on that, comment below. I will definitely do a video on that. So many things that we can do, guys. But staying up late is definitely probably one of the reasons why you're not succeeding the way that you want to, fellow kings. And why your life isn't the type of quality that you would like it to be. These are things that were revealed to me, guys. I'm just passing that information on. I noticed lately since I've been waking up earlier, getting that morning sunlight, first thing in the morning, what I do now, after I pray and I read the word, I go outside, man. And I go outside barefoot, put my feet in that ground and in that soil. And I receive that sunlight, man, that vitamin D. I, I receive that energy to let my mind and my body know, yo, it's time to get up. It's time to wake up. It's time to be energized. Not only that, I do that so that my body can balance out my hormones to let me know later when it's time to go to sleep. That's a part of the circadian rhythms, guys. We keep staying up late, we knock ourselves off of the circadian rhythms. So I encourage you guys to try to go to sleep at anywhere between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. That's the perfect time to go to sleep. If you need to be up a little later than normal, 11 o'clock ain't gonna kill you. Go to sleep at 11, wake up at seven, boom, you got eight hours of rest and sleep, man. Listen guys, this will help you out tremendously. If you deal with sleep or, you know, if you know you stay up late and you don't be getting sleep because you be up BSing, I done been there, comment below. Share it, man, release it in the universe. Like I always say, guys, comment below. Y'all know some tips or some sleeping tips or, or ways to get to sleep a lot more sooner. Comment, comment that below as well and help your fellow brethren. Look, man, it's much love and respect to all y'all, man. I appreciate y'all love and support comments are always on point y'all are y'all are getting real deep in these comments thank you y'all are helping the purpose man until tomorrow man salute